Better is one day in your house. Better is one day in your court than a thousand elsewhere. Better is one day in your house. Better is one day in your cars. Better is one day in your court than a thousand elsewhere. Better is one day in your court than a thousand elsewhere, Lord. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome back. And if you are new, I just welcome you in the name of Jesus. I just welcome you back in the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming back again. As we usher ourselves into the throne room of heaven right now, especially into the courtroom where the ancient of day is seated and the books concerning you and I are open. Open for remembrance. Open for our battles to be won today. Open for verdict in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, Lord God, we just thank you, Lord, even as we usher ourselves into your courtroom today. We just purify, Lord God, our spirit, soul, and body with our precious blood, making us, so God, cleanse enough, oh God, to sit with you, Lord God, to be partakers, oh God, in your throne room today, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Today, I want to tell you that the Lord, the Lord is fighting your battles for you. The Lord is able to fight your battles for you. He's the only one that can fight your battles for you and you will win them. You give you total victory. Hallelujah. 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 When you are with the Lord, oh, all battles are won for you because he has already conquered deaths on your behalf in Jesus name. The word of the Lord we are going to read today is from the book of Exodus. Exodus 14, verse 14. It says, the Lord will fight for you. Just be still. Be still and know that he is God. The Lord will fight your battles. All you have to do is to be calm. Be still. Be still and know that he is God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue. Continue to abide in him. As you continue to stay your focus on him, as you continue to do the due diligence that the Lord has placed in your hands, just know that he got your back. The Lord got your back. Once you are in his business, he is in your business. That's what I've come to tell you today. When you are in God's business, the Lord is in your business. He's always getting your back. The word of the Lord said, he is your rear rear guard he is your rear guard at all times the devil will raise his ugly head but the lord will always raise up a standard for you in the name of jesus he will raise up a standard for you in the name of jesus do your best <clears throat> in any way that you are continue to do your best do your best in the things of the lord do your best in the things of god and also do your uh, in the services of god in serving god do your best in in the, your marketplace do your best in your family do your best your best might not be good for humans but the lord is watching you the lord is watching you and when they rise up against you for no reason the lord will raise up a standard because of the word the word of the lord said the enemy will rise up like a, like a flood, but the Lord will raise up a standard against it for you as long as you continue to abide with him. And continue as, as long as you continue to do his duty, as long as you continue to stay your focus on him, as long as you continue to make him your focal point, he got your back. He got your back. He got your back. Hallelujah. 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 Continue to stay steadfast in him. He is your he is your rewarder in all that you do. I want you to remember the book of um Isaiah. Isaiah Isaiah I believe it's Isaiah 61, uh, 1 to 3, where the the high priest Joshua was his, it was in the house of the Lord. He was doing his duties, he was serving, he was serving. He was just in the courtyard of heaven. I mean the courtyard of the Lord, doing his daily duties. Do you know that the enemy raise up against him uh, in the physical he did not see but there was a battle that was going on in the realm of the spirit so when you're moving around don't think you're just moving around there are battles that are being fought and won on your behalf the angels are released at all times fighting your battles and winning them for you to, for you and you don't even know sometimes you feel a little pinch and you think the enemy has attacked you do you know how many battles that the lord has won on your behalf 
Hallelujah. He is always fighting for you. His legions of ages are always surrounding you. The accuser, the Satan, he came to accuse Joshua without him knowing, but he was doing his duty. That's why I said, continue to serve God, make him your focal point, do your due, uh, due diligence in whatever you do for God. Because as long as you continue to be planted in him, he will fight your battles for you. The devil came, the Satan, Satan came to begin to raise accu accusation against Joshua before God, you know, before God. Do you know what God told him? He told him, you cannot touch this one. He rebuked the devil on his behalf. He without, without, without even Joshua know, knowing what was going on in the realm of the spirit. Why did he win this battle that he did not even raise a finger? Why did he, how did he win this battle? He won the battle because he was doing the duties of God. He won the battle because he was doing what he knows how to do best. And what happened? The Lord looked at him because of that. He forgave him his sins. Hallelujah. He forgave him his sins. He gave him a crown. He put a crown upon his head. He removed the robe. He told the angels that were there. They removed the robe that he was wearing. To him, he was wearing a, a regalian that was so beautiful. But before God, it was filthy. He removed that, he asked the angels to remove that garment and put a new garment of honor on him. And that is your portion today. The accusation that the enemy has put forth before you in the courtroom of heaven. The accusation that the enemy has laid before you. The Lord, are the Lord is turning things around for you. The Lord will turn the table against the enemy. The Lord will turn the table against the devil, the enemy, the adversary that has come to afflict you in the name of Jesus. Is it in your workplace that they are rising up against you? Continue to do your best. The Lord will turn the tables. He will turn the tables and things will be, will, will be, will be ruled to your favor. Instead, you, the Lord will promote you to a, a higher level. You will be crowned with a crown of glory. A garment of praise, a garment of the next level will be put upon you. And the enemy will be shamed. Because the Lord says they will come, but they will fall for your sake. They will fall for your sake. That's what the word of the Lord said. So continue to stay focused in your marketplace. Stay focused in any area that you are being planted. And let your heart be plain. Through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord said that, that they will surely gather. But the gathering is not of me, says the Lord. And as many as are gathered for you, they will fall for your sake. For you serve a God that can fight your battles. You serve a God that can win your battles. They, you serve a God that you don't even have to lift up a finger for him to win the battles for you. In the realm of the spirit. By the time you begin to feel a headache, Death, or, death is being is being conquered already. That's just the symptoms. If your eyes are open to the realm of the spirit, you will see the great battles that has been going on or that is going on right now on your behalf. Hallelujah. We serve a living God. We serve a living God. We serve a God that never fails. Remember Elijah. Elijah and his, and, his, and his servant, when the enemy came to encamp against them to get him, he asked the Lord to open the eyes of his servant. And when, he, when, when the Lord opened the eyes of his servant, he saw angels, the heaven armies, with their sword drawn, surrounding them. He saw that there were more than enough. He saw few armies that came to, you know, to attack them. But when the Lord opened his eyes, he saw that they were surrounded by legions of angels ready to defend them. So I'm, I dare to tell you today, fear not, for there is nothing to fear as long as you are planted in him. Fear not, for he gets your back. Fear not, for you serve a living God that will never leave you nor forsake you. Fear not, for you serve a God that makes a donkey to talk. 
For no one can curse you if the Lord hasn't cursed you. Okay? The Lord will bless you. If the Lord has blessed you, no man can curse you. That is your verdict today in the name of Jesus. That's your portion. Keep on being strong. Be strong and be bold. For the Lord God, he's with you. The Lord, your God, is with you. Amen and amen. And so let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I just thank you right now. For that whosoever that is watching from wherever they are watching, Lord, that is going through one turbulence or the other, one trouble or the other, you know them by name, Lord. Father, I decree and I declare that according to your word, that there is no weapon that is fashioned against them that shall prosper in the name of Jesus, that every arrow of the evil one will go back to sender. Arrow of sickness, disease, go back to sender. Arrow of demotion, go back to sender. Arrow of barrenness, go back to sender. Arrow of unsuccessfulness in your life, go back to sender. Because the Lord that fights your battle is always ready 24-7. He is the Lord of the of, of the, 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 the Lord of the armies of heaven. In Jesus' name. You continue to be victorious up higher on top and never below. Everything that the enemy meant for evil for you, the Lord will turn it around for good for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. And that is your verdict today. You are victorious all year round. This is a month of grace. Grace, 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 grace upon everything that you laid your hand upon. Grace in your home grace to exploit grace to do exploit grace to accelerate in your life grace 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 upon your children in jesus name that's your verdict hallelujah amen and amen i just want to thank you one more time for continuously coming with me to the courtroom of heaven where we have always or where we do come to obtain mercy. Mercy is yours today in Jesus' name. Like I always said, never, never, never you forget. For one day in his presence, one minute in the presence of the Most High God is greater than thousands and thousands years out there. So keep on abiding in him. Keep on staying in his presence. Amen. I'll see you again next week if Jesus tarries. And I thank you, even as you continue also to help me to share and to like. God bless.